Good morning and welcome to today's episode of Random Thoughts. I'm glad that you're with us this morning. Got a question for you. Have you ever heard of the phrase, being Jesus with skin on? No? I dare say most of you have never heard of that phrase. I want to unpack that phrase a little bit today to kind of give you an idea where it came from and the like. And for you, the church, and for you who may be watching, who are still searching in the context of what do I want not in my life? I know my life is challenged. I know my life is interesting. And I need some rooting and grounding uh, in my life kind of thing. And you have a friend who's a Christian. Well, that friend is Jesus with skin on more on that in a little bit. Thank you for being here today. We will be right back. All right, being Jesus with skin on. Where did that phrase come from and what does it mean? Well, simply put, where did it come from? First of all, there was a there is a man, uh, met him personally about maybe 15 years ago, some there, somewhere in that ballpark. His name is Guy Dowd. Guy Dowd he was a middle school age, junior high age teacher. And he did a video series, very wonderful Christian man, by the way, did a video series called God Loves Me, So What? And it was a video series intended for middle school, junior high age children and their parents about being people of God. God loves me, so what? Uh, God loves me, uh, what does that mean to me kind of thing? It, it's a really, really good video series. If you can find it, whether it's on YouTube or whatever, I haven't really done, tried to do some research. But it was, I, I saw the video series with this one congregation that I was called to serve way back in the mid to late 90s uh, had that video series back in the day when there was VHS videotapes. How about that one? Anyway, um, so take a look at take a look for it if you, if you can find it and if I find it before you do I'll put the link to a YouTube uh, on, on that anyway in one of the videos I believe it was the last one Mr. Dowd came up with the phrase being Jesus with skin on and what that meant as middle school children as middle school children parents and I'm telling you what I believe that phrase means as adults, high school students, middle school age students, elementary students, family members, grandmas, grandpas. Hmm. Anyway, long story short, how do we be Jesus with skin on? Simply, it's, it's about walking your faith. It's about walking the life that you know about. Now, I'm going to put right now a blatant plug advertisement for our video series is coming, coming up this month. It's called uh, My Life with Christ. And that's the series we're talking about uh, on Sunday mornings. Anyway, long story short, I'd love to have you here on 1030 Sunday morning. Plug finished. Jesus with skin on. Being that person who shows, demonstrates, talks, walks like Jesus. Jesus calls us to carry his cross and follow him. What, what does that mean, too? Jesus calls us to be his representatives, his disciples, his followers. Uh, we are in the business of making disciples. We are in the business of bringing people into a new and wonderful relationship with God. 
we have a phrase here at Faith. Uh, we call it raising up and building up present and future disciples. Our intent is to bring this discipleship, this newness, this being Jesus with skin on to people. In order to be Jesus, in order to bring being Jesus with skin on to people, we need to be Jesus with skin on for people. So we know Jesus is in heaven. We know Jesus uh, ascended there, and he, we know he will be returning. And he left the church to be my witnesses, he said, in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the world, to represent Jesus to be that one who maybe goes through a sacrifice for the sake of someone else, to be that person who shares his life with someone so that the someone can realize, wow, I, I do have this life with God. It's possible. Can I believe it? And the answer is, yes, you can. You can believe it. But in order for you out there somewhere who doesn't believe it, to believe it, you need to have an encounter with someone like me who does. So for me to be Jesus with skin on to you, that needs to be my walk of life. My walk as a disciple is a, a, a person who does not think of himself or herself, but thinks solely of the other. Not to think of me, myself, and I, but to think of you, yourself, and you. Uh, to be there for others, and when actions don't speak as loud as words, to speak words. I've used this phrase, that people see you, see you in action, see your life, and they ask the question, hey, your life is different. You're facing the same problems I'm facing. You're facing the same issues that I'm facing, but yet your demeanor, your actions, your, your, your joie de vie, is different than me. Why? Then you can tell them. Then you can say, this is the reason why God has saved me from my life through what Jesus Christ has done for me. He has sacrificed his life so that I can live, not just here and now, but forever with him in heaven. Jesus did this all to take a sinner like me, I'm a sinner. I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be in this world. But I can be perfected by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's when you use words. And Jesus used words. Jesus used words, brought faith and life to people. Uh, one example of bringing faith and life to people when he used words was the woman, Samaritan woman at the well. He knew her and he spoke these wonderful words of life and faith to her. That's what we can do for other people also as Christians. We can speak the words and share the words. We can show the love. One example, one concrete example, I'll, I'll close with this. Concrete example of being Jesus with skin on is what we do every other month on the second Saturday. We give, we give food away to people. We work in cooperation with the Houston Food Bank. They bring a truck up here. We bag it. We move it. We put it in people's vehicles. And we serve with a smile on our face. We spend a Saturday morning taking care of other people. And when somebody says, why are you doing this? We say, it's what Jesus wants us to take care of you. Not only to help you with your day-to-day -day needs, but also to share the word of God with you. And can I share that word of God with you, you there, there, <laughs> right now? The word of God is Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. And that's what, in part, being Jesus with skin on is all about. How many comments, any questions, please let me know. Look forward to seeing you Sunday morning in worship. It is great to see all y'all. And God bless and we will see you soon. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.